Hi guys, this is it. Got the fan. <laughs> the thing is, uh, I'm not really happy about the dealer because he promised me, as you see, there's no uh, rubber carpet. I wanted that rubber carpet to make up for the two weeks I had to wait for the van and also as a template. And uh, he forgot to order it. So now I have to wait for it. He's gonna ship it to my house. Other than that, it drives fantastic, and uh, it's under warranty for another 15,000 miles, and then I have an extra warranty for two years, so I should be fine. I mean, I got it, so and it drives well. So you guys, I'll see you next time. I will put the kill mat in, and uh, my fans, I don't know, it says that it's going to rain again today, so might not be doing the fan today. But I will let you know and I will take a video of it. All right, see you later. Okay, I will show you how to get these panels out without any problems. All you need to do is, there you go. So, Sorry about the noise, but I wanted to show it to you because there are quite a, a bit of panels. Okay, so when they're out, they look like this, and when they're in, they look like this. So this needs to get out because we need to insulate under. I took all these also, those triangles, you know, triangles that go in there. I kept them all, and um, this is the kill mat that I put on. It's all done. I overdid it a little bit, but <clears throat> so the whole van walls are done. Now I'm going to go into the ceiling, and I'm going to leave that 14-inch hole there alone and I'm going to put some kill mat on the side of this. I'm going to take these panels out also because they will need the insulation in them. And before I put the kill mat, the van was uh, scratched a lot, you know, like this. So it's important to put paint, like rust and paint. So because under, it's going to be a little bit wet all the time, you know, because you're breathing, you're cooking. So you don't want the moisture to get into the rust to those uh, little things. So all you do is take a little bit of paint and uh, touch up. I did that on the wheels also. Look how white they are. But you see, I'm going to have to do this for the floor. Wash it good, then put a primer. Rust-Oleum and then a Rust-Oleum paint. So that's uh, my next step after I insulate it because I don't want to step on my white paint before I do my floor. So that's what I'm going to do for now and I will see you when all these panels will be out and uh, all the kiln mat will be done on the ceiling and everywhere and I will start the insulation today. So <laughs> this is it. I got my van. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Okay. Hi guys. This is day two of the van. So what I'm gonna show you today is um, sorry. Let's get focused. <laughs> so yesterday I finished all the kill mat and also prepped the van because there was some rust. So I had to paint and wait um, till it dries to pull the to put the kill mat on. I put the kill mat everywhere, but the, where the fans will be. I didn't put much on top because there's already like ribs. So when there's ribs, like there's not too much of. Uh, you know, like sound waves that goes through a panel, like those panels. So, okay, 
Now it's time for uh, insulating with the Tinsulate. What I did is, as you can see there, made all the templates for all the all the panels in the van. The thing is, they repeat themselves. So don't when, once you're done with one side check on the other side what's similar so you can use the reverse of it and mark them down like all my panels are marked from number one to 17 and then you know like so on and so on because otherwise you're going to get lost what goes where so what i did here is i put the tinsulate on the ground and i'm gonna cut my and try to save as much as possible to put the petals you know in a certain way so I don't waste too much and that's going to be it for almost today and then tomorrow it's going to be glue uh, yeah spray glue on the uh, panels eh, a little bit and then you go spray glue a little bit on the white side of the tinselit and then you you glue it on so that's going to be about tomorrow. Maybe I'll finish today. We'll see. My sister is supposed to come and, uh, and help me out. It's going to be a, a long day. But at least it's sunny. They said it would be raining. So that's why I didn't start the, the fan on top. But it doesn't seem like... But They say it's going to rain this afternoon. So I don't want to take a chance with that. I'm going to wait for a full day of good weather to uh, do this. So guys, um, I'll, I'll leave you on this and when I'm all done with cutting all this and ready to glue them on, I'll be back on the video, okay? All right, talk to you later. Look, I almost went through a whole roll of uh, Tinsulate 1600 and I did all my panels. I did the templates, you know, but, you know, sometimes it's like I need a little piece here or there, but it wasn't so bad. But all is, uh, what's the worst is all the crannies here, you know, all these little places that takes a lot of time and I'm not done. It's tomorrow, yeah, because I'm like tired not 20 years old so <laughs> um, what I would suggest well, making templates it's a long time consuming thing and it's not really you know like you have to give it if you do the, the templates yeah I'll, I'll, I'll tell you give it half an inch more than the paper yeah as far as everything, height, the round, everywhere. I would have given like a half an inch more, I would have been okay. That's what I did for the second time. And this side is much better. But the first time it was a little, you see, I'm a little short, so I need to fill that out. And, but it's not gonna be a big problem. You know, I want to take this out and make and do some insulation between this thing and uh, the roof so uh, hopefully and I'm not finished because look I didn't do my ceiling yet so I have to insulate but that's gonna be a little bit big pieces I have another roll in the house of the tinselette so I should be fine okay so that, that was it for today it's my second day having the van you know like uh, to recap I did put the um, kill mat for the sound deadening I put I did most of the tinselate well most not really the ceiling so that's good the tinselate really is gonna take me two days yeah really a day and a half let's say yeah because if it's nice tomorrow I'm gonna poke some holes in uh, my ceiling for my first fan and another hole for the second fan and measure really good if my three panels fit 
in between these fans, hopefully. So, bye everybody, and I will uh, see you next time. Okay, well, tomorrow, I guess. Stay under so the chips won't go everywhere. And my friend Robert is helping me out doing this. So we are doing the first hole for the first fan. Okay, so the hole is done and I just put the mud under this frame and I put it directly into the hole. So now what I need to do is screw, screw and that's it. I'm just going to put the fan over it. So that's what the install of that little frame goes and now we're applying the decor, um, I mean the sealant, the lap sealant over the edge of the exterior and on the screws to make sure no water will go through this. And we are going to be very generous with this stuff. Alright, let me show it to you. So here my friend Bobby applying the sealant is very neat oh my god this is the most the neatest job ever oh. <laughs> okay everybody's like you know like putting it all over so this is great you gotta be very generous and just cover all the edges you go. Now we're going to finish this and put the fan on. I told you that I would show you the fan installed and this is how it looks with the frame and of course you have to take those wires inside and uh, I don't know if I told you but this black button there it makes you open the vent. You need to be uh, having this uh, cover completely open to install it inside the um, the frame, the plastic frame on top of the van. Okay, so putting a wood frame here inside helps for the future ceiling that you are going to put. I'm going to put uh, some pine uh, tonguing groove, so I'm going to need this uh, piece of wood to help me, you know, uh, screw them in.